Since the launch of the latest Honda Civic in 2016, that model has been pretty dominant in terms of sales volume and critical praise. Is there a compact in the country that can match the Japanese juggernaut? Subaru would like very much to believe that its all-new Impreza is not just a Civic fighter, but a Civic slayer. With standard all-wheel drive, a fuel-efficient power plant, and a huge uptick in both feature set and comfort, the Subi might not be as far off the lead as you'd expect. How does it look? The model you see here is the Impreza Sport, a trim line that improves the car's appearance right off the bat with these 18-inch, five-spoke alloy wheels. The curving character line on the body side adds visual interest to the Impreza, though the overall look from most angles is pretty conservative. Because I'm a car guy, I like the looks of the five-door hatch more than our sedan, which, with the trunk lid spoiler, looks a bit too boy racer for my tastes. How's the storage? Now one reason why I would probably opt for the Impreza hatch instead of the Impreza sedan is that this trunk is kind of small. At 12.3 cubic feet, it's smaller than competitors from Honda, Toyota, and Chevy, though it's just big enough to fit all three of our suitcases from away. Things are fairly average in terms of storage inside, too. Impreza has a couple of cup holders and a space for your phone ahead of the shifter or in the center console, but there's not much bonus space in the door pockets or anywhere else. Is it roomy? The interior space has been divided with a slight bias towards roominess in the front, at the expense of the back. Head, leg, and shoulder room are all at or near the top of class in the front two chairs, which a tall guy like me really appreciates. Meanwhile, the back seats measure out slightly below average for the class, especially where legroom is concerned. How does the interior feel? Now, Subaru isn't really known for creating great interior experiences, but this Impreza is clearly a new high watermark for the model. The car we're in is the Sport trim, which is one from the top trim level. So you can see that we've got things like cloth seats here. I think they work out really well. And certainly the view forward in this car for the driver is much more modern than any Impreza past. Is it well equipped? The only added cost option on this Impreza Sport is the CVT. So this tester is a really fair example of what people will buy. The good news is that you get things like keyless access and a push button starter, this nice eight inch touchscreen, a leather wrapped steering wheel, and two mode heated seats and heated mirrors, all as part of the trim. The bad news is that you'll have to pay more for navigation and Subaru's clever EyeSight driver assistance suite of tech. How's the infotainment system? I really like the responsiveness of this touchscreen and Subaru's Starlink software, which also allows for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. There are physical knobs for easy control of volume and station and a home button to get you back to the main menu. But using the touchscreen itself is really easy as it operates very smoothly and has big, bright graphics. I'm not much of an in-car app user, but I found myself configuring the home screen to have a shortcut button to the weather app, a simple set of operations for a nice bonus feature. Is it a good daily driver? One of the things that I worry about a little bit when I see that there's a CVT or a continuously variable transmission on the spec sheet is that it's not gonna be very nice to operate. It'll end up sounding buzzy as you're getting up to highway speeds or just generally feeling a little bit weird. Subaru has really perfected their automatic transmission though and none of that bad stuff happens at all. It's very smooth in operation when I'm taking off from a stoplight or getting up to speed. Uh, it, it just feels nice and natural and sounds okay. Another aspect of the car that makes it, I think a really good deal driver is the noise, vibration, and harshness improvement that Subaru has made over the outgoing Impreza. The car is pretty quiet on the highway. There aren't, don't seem to be any weird bumps, squeaks, or rattles, and generally it's just a great place to spend time. And finally, while most cars this size are pretty maneuverable, certainly in parking lots and stuff, the really excellent visibility of the Impreza makes this one kind of a, a half class above maybe some of the other entries in the segment. Is it fun to drive? 
Now the Impreza has got a two liter naturally aspirated boxer four cylinder engine making 152 horsepower and 148 pound feet of torque. That's more than enough power for a car this size to get out of its own way and really feel pretty peppy, though I would prefer to drive it with a manual transmission instead of this CVT, even though as we just talked about, the CVT is pretty painless. So the Impreza has some built-in advantages in terms of handling that make it really sweet to drive. Number one is that boxer engine. It's mounted low in the car, so the center of mass is low in the car, and it makes cornering just more planted and stable. Now combine those things with a steering rack that's pretty quick, and you have a car that feels really pretty nimble a lot of the time. One thing that Subaru offers as we go around a corner pretty quickly as a differentiator uh, from most of the other cars in the segment is its symmetrical all-wheel drive. What's cool about this system is that it's got torque vectoring so it can send torque to the wheel that senses slip. That's good for daily driving because it'll get you out of wet and slippery stuff. And it's great for fun to drive because it lets you go around the corner and out of the corner faster than you would be able to in a front wheel drive car. How's the fuel economy? Ratings for Impreza fuel economy are really impressive. My model gets 27 miles per gallon city and 36 highway, though other trim levels do as well as 28 and 38. Now, none of these figures beat Civic or Cruise, but remember that the Subaru also offers standard all-wheel drive. For anyone who shovels snow in the winter, that's a pretty great combination of efficiency and ability. How much is it? The 2017 Impreza starts at roughly $19,000 after fees, and my Impreza Sport with the $800 CVT option is just $23,615. That's an aggressively competitive pricing structure compared with the Honda, for instance. Remembering again that the Subaru is turning two more wheels for the money. What are the negatives? If you don't live in a place where snow and ice are concerns, or if you're pinching pennies at the dealership or the gas pump, there are cheaper compact sedan options. And while I think that the Impreza's styling has matured in this latest generation, I still don't think it's the very prettiest car in the class. That's an award I still give to the Mazda 3. Who should buy it? Compact buyers in snowbelt and mountain states owe it to themselves to test drive this car, but the Impreza isn't merely a great option because of all-wheel drive. This is a well-packaged vehicle that's well-screwed together and well-suited to go at the leaders in the segment. Thanks so much for watching our Why Buy video on the 2017 Subaru Impreza. If you guys like this one, you should subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got a new one for you every Thursday.